can all cry together now. <laughs> Guys, I'm back in my old setup. Yay! I have missed this. Episode 8 of Spartacus War of the Damned called Separate Paths. There is so much to talk about. Oh my god. You guys know from watching my teaser time what an emotional wreck I was after watching it. And I'm so glad I can finally talk to you guys about it. It's been too long. So I think we could pretty much all guess what was going to happen based on the title. If you know anything about the history of Spartacus. But before I get into that, I just want to mention a few quick things that happened in the episode. First, how beautiful was that opening scene? I wish they had been more fight scenes like this throughout the season. This one shot going from one fight to another, it was great and a great way to open this episode. After seeing Tore leave with the rebels, we finally know a little more of what happens in the camp with her. One, she's not really helping them to fight Crassus. Two, it looks like she really wants to leave that whole life of hers behind. And three, the rebels did find out that she was Crassus' slave but for now are letting her be. What I think is that she genuinely wanted to leave, but I'm hoping it doesn't end like this and instead she does play a part in the final two episodes, especially with the knowledge that she has of the House of Crassus. Hoping that happens. Another thing I want to mention is Spartacus and Lyta. That was a long time coming and it finally happened. I have to say that I really like the way they've approached this relationship because it didn't make it an epic love story, which I think would have been untrue to the character of Spartacus, but they still created this connection between the two and it's sort of growing little by little. So I'm liking that side of it. And those are the few things that I wanted to mention before delving into the bigger events of the episode. I need to start with Caesar. Now, some of you might have guessed what happened to Crixus, but I can bet that none of you saw that Caesar scene coming. I didn't see it coming. I was like, I'm just kind of watching and I'm like, okay, another scene of Caesar and Tiberius just uh, bumping heads. And then he went a whole other direction. I was like, whoa, okay. I did not expect that. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It was very traumatic. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I don't even know. I have no words, so. But I had to mention it, but I have no words. So, yep, that happened. I'm just gonna move on from that. I wanna mention the Christmas and Navia scene that I mentioned in my teaser time. I just thought it was such a beautiful scene. And as I'm watching the episode, I'm already starting to tear up at this point. I'm like, oh God, it's such so beautiful. We haven't had a scene like that. I think this season, especially not between the two, I think it reminded us of why we were rooting for Crixus and Navia in the first two seasons. They really did to me. And then that scene led to another amazing scene with Crixus and Spartacus. And yeah, I tears and I mean, it's such a powerful scene and you feel like I get it. I get what he's saying. I mean, I agree with it, but I get it. And it's very emotional. And I was like, oh my God, he has the most beautiful thing that he tells Spartacus. And it's just like, oh God. You opened my eyes to this Spartacus. Do not ask me now to close them. That was like, okay, okay. I'm crying, fine, fine, you got me. God. So I get emotional just thinking about this. And then of course, all it just gets worse because then all of this leads to the heartbreaking final scene with Crixus falling. I guess we all knew it was coming, but it's still heartbreaking. And I think the worst part of it is that it was Tiberius who brought him down. I mean, come on, did it really have to be Tiberius? Could it not be Caesar? Could it not be Crassus? No, it had to be Tiberius, that horrible, horrible, horrible Tiberius. I was so mad. And he's the one who cuts his head off. I'm like, why? It's hard enough. You're just making it worse. You're just like twisting the blade. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why? I think at this point, this just tells us that Tiberius must die a horrible, horrible, horrible death. He's like the evil character of this season. He's like Asher. Like, you know how you wanted Asher to die? Because he's just so, such a snake. 
Tiberius is that character this season. Yeah. That last scene when you see Navia's eye and through her eyes you see Crixus had been cut off. I mean, holy crap. It's amazing and it's heartbreaking. And she closes her eyes and it ends and you're like, no, no. However, we still don't know for sure if Navia is dead. Because if I don't see them kill her, then I'm just gonna assume there's still hope for her. Unless you tell me she's dead or unless you show me like head being chopped off, there's still hope. So Nivia is not dead, and following that logic, I still think Agron could survive because I'm in denial, apparently, and yeah, I don't want him to die. Now you understand why I was, and still I am, an emotional wreck. I think in my heart, I still think that I will be seeing Crixus in the next episode, so... I think we can all agree that this is the best episode of this season, or at least one of the best. And I am so worried about what else is coming because this is just the beginning. That's all I had to say about separate paths. Yes, I'm sure you're thinking it's teaser time, but it's not. Bad news is Stars hasn't sent out a new episode for me to watch, so I can't tease anything. And to make matters worse, there's actually not a new episode of Spartacus next week. What? I know, I know, yeah. There's gonna be what they call a catch-up. They will air episodes six through eight again, so people that haven't seen them yet can just catch up. And then the week after that, then we get episode nine. A couple announcements. First, even though there's no new episode of Spartacus next week, I'll probably be doing a Spartacus-related video. Keep an eye out for that. Second, if I do get the next episode in advance, I will do a teaser time video for it. However, if I do not get it, my next review will probably be up a little later than usual because I'll have to watch the episode and then just film and edit and put it up. But I'll try to do that as fast as I can because I'll probably have tons of things to say. So that's all I have for you guys this week, but I cannot wait to hear everything you have to say. I'm sure there's a lot of things you have to say. Let me know in the comments. Share, share it all, I'm here for you. As always, if you can click the like button below, it's the thumbs up button. That'll be really, really cool and really nice. And also make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss any of my Spartacus reviews or Spartacus videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week, bye. Before I get into the meat of what happened, I want to mention a few things really quickly. One, Tiberius' crassus' word and will again. 